Hello everybody and welcome to Haunt the House Terror Town. This is a little $5 game that uh, you get off from Steam and basically the premise is you go around and haunting living daylights out of people in various locations and basically scare them away. Now, I would like to point out that that is the entire game I just summed up. There's no variation, there's no replayability. This game, you can literally beat the game in 20 minutes if you know what you're doing, which is I'm going to show you right now. So press S to play. Why isn't it working? That's odd. Press us to skip, which we'll do. Loading. We begin our tab in the south. Arrest through the dusty glass. Okay, so basically you move around as it says here on the tutorial using the arrow keys. You do not use the wasad. The wasad keys are actually used for other actions. But our so ghost is not here. He can possess an object is possessed. So we can move this around, we can possess. Can I like the concept of how you do this. I mean you possess things so around. People us and new acts. So then it says ring the bell. Your fun, you can leave to you leave an object. So yeah, we're gonna skip through this. Ring. You can keep the nine. We'll soon I'm gonna skip all that because it's. I'm gonna. You're gonna see the haunting in, in person, anyways. All right. So this is uh, where you start off with is the bell tower, and there's really nothing to spook here. Alright, so let's go to our first location. So it is the hospital. So basically the main gameplay, how this works, is you possess items and then you take uh, you perform certain actions depending on which item. Now each item reacts a bit differently than the rest. And as the if you look here in the bottom left corner it says atmosphere, as that atmosphere changes from relaxed to scary as hell, you'll get to do more stuff as you possess. So let's for example possess this. I don't see you doing that much. Possess this. Rile around a bit, doesn't see you doing anything because we're not near any people. Oh we can move. So you can scare these two. They seem to be working, they seem to be... Okay, here we go. This works right away. Now you notice I'm just sitting here holding the D button. Now as the atmosphere went to uneasy, I can now do more things with certain items. Oh. Alright, rattle. Our atmosphere bar is filling up, so once it gets to that third icon at the bottom, we'll actually be able to do the third action. These people. Oh. Person's already left. No problem. I notice at the top left corner, if you see the second, not top left, but second from the left, you'll notice that it says 12 out of 20. That means there's 12 people out of 20 to start with who are now in the hot. Oh, here we go. Speak of everybody. There we go. Now that effect happens when you spook a lot of people at the same time. So now everybody's kind of frantic on the ground. Yes, you can kill people. So special characters that around here that you can kill. So for example, or drop a banana, kill the clown. Let's go back. 
And those two ghosts are now here. Now this is one of the things that kind of ticked me off about this game. Nothing changes between different ghosts. Like, at all. So I switched... So I switched to the clown, and nothing really changes. The only thing that changes is the, uh, the laugh you get from pressing the S. Scare this guy. That guy scared off his mind. That guy left. Also, if you scare people enough, they will actually jump out of the windows, although personally I don't think uh, it doesn't really help. I mean, you get scored at the end of it, but like I said, this, this is the kind of game you could beat in 20 minutes, and then once you play it for those 20 minutes, you are literally done. I mean, this... I don't think it's really that good of a game. There's no replayability. The different ghosts don't do anything. The only thing this game has really going for it is the concepts and the art style. This visual-wise, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's not like a, a person already left. Oh, someone else came. Yeah. I mean, it does get a bit trickier when there's less and less people here, because then you have to actually follow them around. And around, but... See, this person runs up, they're going down here. Up, oh, they're leaving. Alright. So now we have, I think, one person left. And... There's no real puzzle solving, because this would be an excellent example to use some puzzle mechanics, but all you're doing is just possessing random stuff in the room and just doing whatever they have available to them. Because I'm not really picking any one thing in particular. Okay, so that person's left. We've officially cleared out the hospital. Sweet. And that only took about five or so minutes. Might take a bit longer on your first time. Already, we got these little spooks. Move the lamp around, scare these people. As far as I can tell, there's no difficulty setting either. Oh yeah, you can make the T-Rex dance too, which I thought was kind of funny. So that's the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> Notice I'm not doing anything other than hold down the D button to get my uh, atmosphere up. Like I said, it's it's not a hard game. There's not really any puzzle me uh, mechanics to it. Now, this would be a perfect game to use puzzle mechanics. You have to figure out what does what. And... Can I? Oh. No. I didn't even know there was a book that I could possess. Yeah, I don't know why war is actually... <sighs> Possess this. I 
knock something over? And I can burn. Chomp, kill the mime. I think it's mime. Kill these people. Then, then. Oh, people are left in here. Oh, because that's this really. <laughs> Went to, uh, I didn't even know that did full screen. Sorry about that. The thing is, when they're scared, they really kind of run around at random, so... Trying to predict where they're gonna go, and then going into an item to possess it doesn't really help a lot. You see, like there, she's going straight towards me, even though I'm trying to spook her. Alright, looks like she might be leaving. Uh, now she's not leaving. Okay, looks like she might be leaving. Okay. Alright, this last person is what we have here. And it's about the five minute mark for this thing here, too. Alright, let's see this person leaves. No. leave already. Yeah, see, see, they run around like complete idiots when they're scared, which I don't think somebody would do if they're scared. I think they would just run to the nearest exit, which is right here where I'm hovering around. Which makes no sense. Where'd he go? There we go. Alright, so about six minutes in and already we're halfway done with the game. I should go down to zero real quick. Where'd he go? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Seems to be a delay. Now we're at the Opera House. Also, I always I found this a really interesting glitch. The organ seems to be very OP, because look how fast. I'm already halfway up the atmosphere the bar practically from this. Because personally because I think everybody in the place can hear it. And just like that. Look how fast that went. It's, to me, it's a bit OP. To me, the Opera House is always very easy. And we're gonna kill the actor. Not even two minutes, we already made half the people at the uh, Opera House leave. The 
powerhouses is always the easiest because a lot of stuff made a lot of noise because it seems to be the stuff that makes noise seems scarier. The exit is right there. Now here's the thing, this guy is running away from the exit, which makes no sense. And now he is. So that person left, but this person's being an idiot. Going away from the source of this. Let's go. Oh, I'm not pressing S, I'm pressing A. Just pr oh, come on. Okay, now for this little bugger. Oh, never mind. He's tight. He said, I'm not doing any of this. Alright, sweet. Alright, so we got about nine or so minutes. About five, or actually, no, about five minutes. We're gonna see if we can finish this. See if there's a lot of people. Oh, that's right, the piano. Oh, I didn't know I could go into the other room. Oh, that's helpful. Five people leave. Okay, nobody in there. Make a bunch of floats. Scare these people. There's, there's no puzzle to this. You just go to a room where there's a lot of people, then just start doing the same thing with one item over and over and over again. Mm. Auto curtain sneeze. That makes no sense. Right, here's the thing. Even though there's nobody... Okay, I guess there's nobody else. if I saw a bottle fly right in front of me and just shatter for no reason.
Alright, we got a couple, I think we got one more minute to see if we can finish this off. about this guy. Draw. Kill him. Yeah, see, now they're running around like complete idiots, and it's getting impossible for me to get them to leave. Thank you. Uh, oh, come on. Just... thank you. Yeah, see, look, I waited around too long. These people, now they're actually... I think it was a boy left. Just leave already. Okay, good. And that is it. It literally took me... I doesn't say I got a B. Oh, it took me five, yeah, see, it took me about five minutes for each section. No, that doesn't seem right, it didn't take me that long. Yeah, the crew, wow, the cruise ship took forever. And that's literally it. That's the end of the game. Like I said, um, it's the kind of game you play once, and yeah, see, look, time, two, 22 minutes. 
like I said, this is a game you, you just buy on a whim, play it, then you don't play it again. It's one of those games. Um, unless you think it's worth five bucks, I wouldn't get it. Um, so I'm going to end it for now. I'm going to have another more wind up shortly, so be on the watch out for that, and see you for later. See you now. See you later.